Hello little piggies. Hi sweeties. Everybody ready to get cleaned up? Hi sweeties. Hello piggy people. So tonight we are doing some spot cleaning of the herd's cage. Their cage is a 3 by 13 and a half I believe CNC cage. So with fleece you need to spot clean twice a day is what I recommend because there's poops everywhere. The piggies just love to leave little presents. I also take the opportunity while I'm spot cleaning to check all the little pads. So there are pads in their beds and I also have pads where they're eating their hay. I change those as soon as they're soiled. The pads are just like the fleece cage liners. So there is two layers of U-Haul sandwiched between the fleece. So they work excellent for absorbing pee. And if any pads that kind of look yucky on top, I will flip them over and use the other side. So that's a little trick that I do. Make sure that I use both sides. And then I'm using my little trusty glove here to sweep up all the poops. Sometimes I wish the poops were worth some money so that I could sell them. Wouldn't it be nice if they were made of gold? But they aren't. One of my favorite things when I am cleaning up the cages whether it's just spot cleaning or a full cage clean, is I love how curious piggies are. They always have to come over to see what you're doing, check out how you're cleaning, see if you've moved anything. It's always so adorable. One of my absolute favorite things about the pigs. And it's always a great way to know that your pigs are feeling well if they're coming around and checking stuff out. There's little Reese Bear. Where did she go? Well, pretty soon Hucky's got to use that tunnel just because I moved it and now Reesey Bear is hopping in there making sure it still works. How cute is this Care Bear fleece? I just can't get over how adorable it is. I love all the colors. I think that blue is so nice. So now I'm just moving some stuff back and all the piggies have to come down to see what is happening. You would think that it wouldn't be that exciting, but everybody's there. What's going on? And it's like as if they're telling me, yeah, that looks good. No, nope, could you move that over a little bit, please? Oh, put that up there. Yep, that's okay. Thank you. Now we are moving on to the section where their hay is, which is always an absolute disaster. Doesn't matter how nice it starts out. It just becomes a big, big mess. And here I am picking up poops with my hand. How disgusting, right? If you're a true piggy owner, you just don't care. You get over that stuff pretty quick. So for this liner, I'm going to be tossing out, I think, all the hay on it. So I usually do a check. If any of the hay is wet, you sh really shouldn't save it. If it's dry, you definitely can save it. But wet hay is obviously not going to be very good for their tummies. And they're not going to want to eat that. So the big fleece liners here, I will shake out into the garbage like I usually do. I always have a huge garbage can in the corner of the room. And it works out excellent. I used to take stuff outside, but I found it was such a hassle to actually literally have to go outside especially in the winter and try and shake that stuff off outside so now I just do it in the room and it seems so much quicker so much easier so now I'm flipping this over to use the other side because as I mentioned I'll use one side in the morning and then at night we'll flip to the other side and then tomorrow morning they'll get a whole brand new one I just want to always make sure that they're standing on fresh fleece. I wouldn't want anybody to be having any sore feet or any bacteria problems from standing on yucky fleece. So that's what I definitely recommend is that you change stuff that they're constantly peeing on quite often. Now I've got another large liner. So I like to have a liner where their hay boxes are and then I also do a lot of piles for the herd just to really spread out the hay and encourage them to eat a lot. 
So I usually have two two by threes that I need to shake out for the herd every day. And I always feel sad when it matches in the morning, but that now I'm going to be using the mermaid side to go along with the Care Bears, and their fleece doesn't match anymore. What can you do? So I'm just shaking all that stuff off, and we're going back. There's Baby Pig. And there's my trusty footstool because it is really hard to reach three grids long. Very difficult. We got it. So you'll notice that I put wood logs on top of these areas and that is because Huckle is a fleece digger. So he will go under the mats where I have the hay on top of and I do not like it. Because especially when I have flipped the liner so the dirty side is down, I hate him going under there because it's so gross. And guess who's under here? Any guesses? Baby. There's somebody moving. And it looks Hi, like baby. a baby. It's a baby pig. What are you doing? She's so cute. Do she doesn't baby? dig, but that part I hadn't flipped over all the way, so she thought it was a cool tunnel. Cute but Huckle, worst digger ever. Even though I put these wood logs on to keep it heavy, there's always days where he'll find a spot where he can go under. And most of the time I don't have the heart to move him, but sometimes I will and I'll kind of rearrange the tunnels again to really prevent him from doing that because I don't like him being under dirty fleece. It's just kind of gross. And he has so many beds to choose. So many tunnels to sleep under, but let's sleep under a dirty liner. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's a boy. Let's get some more poopies. Never ending poops. I would never believe how much a piggy would poop. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll let you enjoy the rest. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!